Good Tuesday evening. Welcome to Feedback. I'm Mark Despotakis. Well, spring here is right around the corner, at least we hope it is, and right beyond that is summer. And a lot of people think about, you know, making some changes to their house during that time. Well, tonight we're going to be talking with the author of this book, A Woman's Guide to Hiring a Contractor, a way to help you um, find out how to, how to hire a contractor. It might not be as easy as you think. It's all coming up tonight on Feedback. Welcome to Feedback this Tuesday evening. I'm Mark Espadagas. Thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, coming up later in the program, we're going to be speaking with Alexandra Sabina, the author of the book I was showing you there, Woman's Guide to Hiring a Contractor. Like I said, spring is just around the corner. At least we hope so. It's going to warm up and be nice outside. And you might want to be doing some changes inside your house. Well, this book has a lot of great tips in there of what you need to do, not necessarily, you know, how to make that fireplace look better, but hire, how to hire someone to make that fireplace look better. So that is coming up on tonight's show. Also, uh, tomorrow night, um, you will be able to see a replay of the show from last week with uh, Stephen Greenberg, the author of the book, Adam's Will. Um, just a programming note for you. Uh, but usually here in this first segment, what I do is I kind of rant about something or at least give you my feedback on something. And probably the biggest story of the week last week was Wall Street. Um, you know, a dismal week on Wall Street excuse me, a dismal week on Wall Street with a big slide, uh, the Dow dropping over 900 points. Um, the sell-off sent major indices to their lowest level in more than two years. Internet stocks, once the darlings of the stock market, didn't fare well. Uh, the CEO of Amazon.com, Jeff Bezos, cautioned small business owners not to, to invest in Internet stocks because they are too risky. Now, this is a soundbite from him appearing on Sundays this week with uh, Cody Roberts and Sam Donaldson over on ABC. Take a look. I, I really believe that Internet stocks, including Amazon.com, are not appropriate investments for small investors or short-term investors of any kind, not necessarily because of the absolute level of the stock price, but because of the volatility. These are all stocks that can be up and down significant amounts in a single day, and it just, in my opinion, uh, doesn't make sense. The small investors should be investing in things that they can sleep easily. Leave these highly volatile stocks to in institutional investors, money managers, and then if you want to participate in that, do it through a money fund. That's my advice. Interesting to hear that from Jeff Bezos there. Um, I don't know if any of you had seen this uh, last weekend. Um, MSNBC did a special Silicon Summit 2. They had done one last year. And they were kind of comparing both of them, how last year they were talking about, oh, Internet stocks, this is the place to be, you know, the Internet's the, all these tech stocks and these stocks and these dot-coms, it's the, it's the place you want to be for doing your business. E-business is the place. Now, this year, you hear people like Jeff Bezos coming out and saying, well, you know what, this might not be the thing for, for individual investors to do. This is more of something, I, what, what did he say, institutional investment managers. That would be the one uh, to do this. So it's kind of interesting to see such a flip flip-flop, even from a year ago today when we were talking so highly of what was going on in the stock market, and we thought that this e-business stuff and these dot-coms were going to last for such a long time, it's going to be such a great thing, and now we're seeing, uh, we're, people are getting scared. Uh, the word recession keeps popping up. Interesting to hear that. Um, and Alan Greenspan in the Fed uh, meeting today, of course, you can find out the latest on what happened with that. Um, coming up in just a little bit on TV5 News. I won't be coming up, commenting on that here, but that uh, certainly on TV5 News, uh, they will be covering that. But um, I just think it's kind of interesting, you know, uh, MSNBC kind of juxtap juxtaposed what, what the Silicon Summit said last year and then what they said this year. Um, quite different and uh, kind of sometimes talking out of both sides of their mouth, it seemed like. So um, stock market's a very scary thing, I guess. So uh, you've got to be educated out there and 
watch what you put your money into. All right, we're going to take a break right now, and when we come back, we're going to be speaking with Alexandra Sabina, the author of this book, A Woman's Guide to Hiring Contractors. Stay with us. It's coming up next. through a grant from Clarion Hospital. Clarion Hospital is located off of Exit 9 of Interstate 80. Clarion Hospital offers outpatient services, transitional care, as well as an emergency room open around the clock every day of the year. More than 400 employees and 80 physicians work to serve the community. Call the Clarion Hospital at 226-9500. Clarion Hospital, providing health care to Clarion County and surrounding communities since 1954. Hey, kid, if wants to know if that girl will go out with him, pass it down. Hey, Grandma has to go along the end if she wants to go out with this loner. The young man wants to know girl over here is a donor. Somebody wants to know if you're an organ and tissue donor. Yes. Hey, me too. <laughs> Are you a donor? Make sure your family knows your decision so there's no question later. I said, you know, it wouldn't a better name for a movie to come out now, and I think I'm going to make the movie or write the book. It would be a great book to have, and you can uh, call uh, to get her book. Um, you can also find it online. Well, and I have a feeling I'm going to be rather opinionated. People I know, so what's well, excellent about scheduling. Um, why is it? Why is it that students have such a problem here? With students to feedback with Mark Despotakis every Tuesday and Wednesday night, beginning at 7:30 p.m. Because we're totally out of time. No time to talk to you. We'll see you tomorrow. This portion of the programming was made possible through a grant by the Captain Loomis Hotel and Restaurant. The Captain Loomis Hotel and Restaurant is located at 540 Main Street in Clarion and offers dining as well as a nightclub. The restaurant and nightclub are open seven days a week for your convenience. Call the Captain Loomis Hotel and Restaurant, 226-8400. Welcome back to Feedback. I'm Mark Espadakis. Now, as I said uh, earlier, on today's show, we're going to be talking with Alexandra Sabina, the author of this book, Woman's Guide to Hiring a Contractor. Alexandra, thank you for coming on the show, joining us thank today. Thank you for having me, Mark. Uh, a Woman's Guide to Hiring a Contractor. Why are you writing a book uh, specifically toward women here? Well, to get statistical with you for a moment, <laughs> uh, they are the largest demographic in the United States at this moment, uh, whether being singularly owned owning a home or in a, in a uh, coupled relationship. And they have grown 27.17% uh, since um, between the years of 1993 and 1998, uh, where the men and uh, married groups have dropped significantly to a minus 37%. Mm. So um, it's also um, within the household, my personal business uh, conducts business with approximately 96 percent of my clientele who are women-based or represent the home and um, hence a woman's guide. Well let's make that known. This is not your first uh, profession you're writing books. What, no. is, what is your first profession? This is an offshoot from an ongoing profession. I'm a Victorian restorationist and I do Victorian restoration on um, dilapidated homes and um, in trying to keep the character of the history behind the home and um, producing that in a manner in which it doesn't look as though it was revised. Okay. You know, I, I was reading the book and prepping for the show, and I, my first immediate thought was, hey, this could be for, for a man, too. There's a lot of certainly valid tips in here. Um, I mean, are, can a guy pick this up too, or I mean, do you have separate books out there for that? Well, there are several. Uh, there will be different versions going to different core groups. Uh, one of them being a senior's guide. Oh. Okay. And there will be um, a chapter or two dedicated towards seniors that uh, specifically target them. And um, in one of the chapters here, it's uh, skeets, uh, um, scams, cheats, and lies, and. It seems as though the uh, fraudulent contractors or service providers 
tend to target the elderly, and that's the, uh, where it will be dedicated in that book. And there is also a homeowner's guide, just a general, which is the same, uh, all the books carry the same topics with um, a few dedicated um, chapters to that specific core group. I see. All right, well, let's get into kind of the meat of talking about the book here. Um, hiring a contractor, well, I would just think I'd look up in the phone book and pick a contractor. That's not what I should do, or is that what I should do? How should it's I do not, it? not, I won't say it's a bad idea. It is uh, not the first, uh, it's not the most uh, objective way of mm. doing that. Um, I would, um, my personal view, and most of this book is written from my viewpoint, being in the business, and how I perceive people. My clientele are also my research um, venue. And um, in your neighborhood, you'll constantly see uh, various service providers or contractors doing business in and around your neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. The more you see a truck, the more you know that they are probably loyal, conscientious, and very, um, very good at what they do. Otherwise, you wouldn't be seeing their trucks in the neighborhood. Uh, that's the first line of defense, and in the book there are uh, two different sectors of lines of defense, and the primaries are word of mouth, mm -hmm. visually seeing them around your neighborhood, uh, personally coming in contact with them, uh, maybe your family or friends have used them in the past, and this is a good place to start. Okay. So let, let's, um, I wanna, let's, hypothetical situation, I'm, I want to redo the bathroom in my house, all right? Now, I don't know that I have no idea of anyone who's done this before, mm -hmm. but I know that I want to do it. Um, so uh, let's say I, you know, I go on and I'm, I'm calling these people. I'm, maybe I know a couple people who might have had those done, and I contact their contractors, and I look in the phone book at those people. How, can, how do I choose which one is going to be the best for my specific job, being that I really don't know a lot of these people? It's the same way you pick stocks. You don't know. That's where your homework comes in. And many people, this is the part that most homeowners fret because it means they actively have to take time out of their recreational schedule, their jobs, their personal life with their family and dedicate time uh, to researching who they want, what is the criteria of the uh, contractor or service provider that you would let come into your house, what are your standards in your home, and will you hold up will the contractor uphold your standards in your home that is uh basically the um the crux of where you need to start once you've defined that then the long and arduous task of actually interviewing service providers um hopefully you've made a list of what you want specific points of interest and with each contractor or service provider that you bring into the house make sure each each of them receive this list so that they are bidding on the same project with the same material list. Okay. Hence, you'll um, end up with more even um, bidding and will make your job easier to pick which one, which person would best suit your needs. Now, once, once I've selected the contractor for, for whatever job I'm doing, um, I would think, okay, well, I selected them, my job is done. Well, from reading this, my job is not done. I mean, I, I, you have to kind of be in a, still be an overseer. I mean, this is you're you're getting yourself very involved in this as well, correct? Yes, you are. Uh, it's no different than raising your children. Um, it, your house is synonymous with a child, but mm. this is a child that will never leave home. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But you will be sinking the money into it. Um, once you've initiated the process, uh, just like raising your child, you need to nurture the process, oversee it, uh, give, letting the contractor follow the guidelines set forth in the contract, and the contract is what makes or breaks uh, your relationship with this service provider. Um, if it's not listed in a contract, do not expect it to be performed, and it, unfortunately many people are disappointed by the end of this job because what did not appear in the contract also was not performed. Um, okay. And this is why you need to uh, keep an eye of what's going on, make sure right. that everything is being put in its place in a timely and orderly fashion. Okay, we're going to talk uh, some more about this uh, coming up after the break. Um, 
It's certainly an interesting, interesting subject here. Um, it's, it's a scary world out there, I guess, once you uh, want to go and do something like this. We'll take a break on feedback. Uh, be right back after this. Programming was made possible through a grant by Fox's Pizza Den. Fox's Pizza Den is located on Old Route 66 in Clarion and offers all-day delivery. Phone 226-5555. That's 226-5555. Fox's Pizza Den is open seven days a week for your convenience. Phone 226-5555. This portion of the programming was made possible through a grant by The Carpet Barn. The Carpet Barn is located at 470 South 5th Avenue in Clarion. The Carpet Barn is open Monday through Saturday for all your carpet needs. So call The Carpet Barn, 226-7332. Wardrobe for some TV5 news anchors provided by Fashion Bug, located in the Clarion Mall. Whether you're looking for junior trendy, girls, or fashion for women, they have it all, with many different styles. Fashion Bug also offers wide selection of accessories. Fashion Bug is located in the Clarion Mall, just off of Exit 9 of Interstate 80. Open Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. till 9 p.m., and Sunday from noon till 5. On the big highway of life, only one safe place for kids. Seat, the front seat's not the best to drop out. Seat, Don't want that big old bag to pop out. Seat, baby. Put that booties in the back seat. Seat, baby. Have that condition never be out. Here to remind you to put them behind you. Seat, baby. Seat, baby. Seat, baby. You stay alive even when I drive. Welcome back to Feedback. I'm Mark Desidakis. Uh, on today's show, we're speaking with Alexandra Sabina, the author of this book, uh, A Woman's Guide to Hiring a Contractor. Um, kind of interesting looking book, not what you'd always see. Now, Alexandra, as I understand, you actually made the book? Is yes. that correct? I created the spine, um, hmm. handmade, hand-fastened, uh, each of the books. And um, it was a promotional item at first uh, for, for the outing of the book, and it just kind of caught on as a novelty and now most of the books going out at this point have wooden spines. Interesting, interesting. Okay, um, in the back of the book here now, I mean, the, the, the most the most part of the book, I mean, it's like a regular book, all this information, but in the back there's some appendixes here that, um, appendices I guess is the word, that uh, provide some valuable information. What, what, what do we have back here to help the homeowner? Well, um, at the beginning, uh, you're going to run into the various websites of your particular state, uh, being Pennsylvania here, and um, you can look up helpful hints where to go for help in case of not only catastrophic um, occurrences, but in case you have uh, arb need arbitration with a contractor or a service provider, it gives helpful hints. Uh, it's a place to turn for answers when um, no one else is available to you. There's also a criteria list. It's a homeowner's criteria list, which is essentially a piece of paper with lines on it. But most people do not take the time to write out their criteria of what is necessary on the job. I provide it, and people tend to Makes use sense. it when it's provided for them. Um, also in the appendix, it gives you uh, different states and their building codes and what the, what the building codes represent, uh, who, who should be licensed, what the licensure is about, and at what, at what price of the job cost does a contractor need to be licensed. Uh, there's also emergency phone number list. This goes to the chapter with backup plan, having a backup plan. Uh, in the case of an emergency, something occurs on the job, a gas line, water line, electricity, something goes wrong, 
your contractor can't handle it, who do you call? You mm -hmm. don't need to be fumbling with a phone book or dialing various numbers that you right. don't know exist, uh, whether they're going to uh, be able to help mm -hmm. you looking forward before the problem occurs. So these are just, the things in the back of the book are things that we probably should be doing anyway, but you provide them, so we're like, you know, it, it's there, so we'll do them. This whole guide is extremely common sense written, mm -hmm. and as you, as you read through the book, you probably said, gee, I know that. But at the time you're looking to have something accomplished in your home, the last thing you want to be worried about is the comp compilation of the, um, the organization of how you do this, when to right. do it. This is where the guide comes in handy. It frees your time up so that you can actually spend more time picking out the, um, the items that you want to be a part of your project, um, bringing your family involved, and actually enjoying the process instead of fretting it. Right. Uh, let's, let's get out some information right now. Where can we get the book? Well, you can, um, various places at the moment, um, you can get it off, off of my website, which is uh, www.catjammies.com. And um, you can order it directly from the website where there's a lot of inf inf information um, that also appears in the book. And each month it's updated with various tips, uh, homeowners tips, sites of interest that you could find on the internet for both women and homeowners alike. Um, it is also at St. Elmo's in, um, in Pittsburgh on Carson Street and in Sewickley at the Open Mind. Okay. And I'm now trying to arbitrate um, sales with Barnes and Noble and Borders Books. Well, that's good. Uh, back to back to the content here. Let's uh, so maybe some tips here. Let's. You were telling me a little bit earlier that now, whenever you're picking your contractor, spell out everything you want, present it to all your possible contractors. Well, let's say I've done that. I selected my contractor. Now, as I'm going along, I say, hmm, I, I think I want to change something in this. Can I do that? Am I allowed to do that? And how do I go about doing it if I am? Um, it's free reign. You're allowed to do whatever you want, but within the confines of a legal preparation, which is a contract formally and up front before the job is uh, commenced. And while the job is under commencement, you want to have a addendums written, but um, be forewarned. Um, addendums sometimes can cause more problems than what they're worth. Um, and let me let me redefine that. Um, if you've heard the term of nickel and diming a contractor, that is having a per, having a contractor put a light switch in, then two days later say I want something else in, and you're over a period of three weeks that the job happens, you keep adding small items. Where if you compiled a list and towards the end of the job had the contractor write an addendum so that they can perform the tasks all at once. You seem, le you seem more less of a pest to the contractor, mm -hmm. and the contractor is more likely to um, uh, grant your task to you without uh, giving you any lip. How, yeah, how, how is that? How would, uh, as I'm the one who's going to have someone come in, what, what do I have to be careful of to try to maintain a, a good working relationship with the contractor and all the people coming mm -hmm. into work in my house? I mean, I want something done a certain way, but how do I communicate that and, and you know, Make sure that they don't storm off the job. <laughs> well, the key word was communications. Mm -hmm. That is uh, the make or break of all relationships, whether it be business, personal, entertainment. Mm -hmm. uh, communication is the utmost important concept for two people to uh, come to a meeting of the mind, so to speak. Uh, the better prepared you are up front, the homework that you have um, that you've conducted. Uh, your list of cri homeowners criteria list and also articulating yourself the best way possible trying to convey your wants your needs your desires to a contractor and the way that you can understand that, that, that they've comprehended what you've told them is in the lines of their contract is it explicitly um, written in the lines of the contract exactly what you want if you don't like the way it reads, if it doesn't read exactly the way you want, don't sign it. Have them rewrite it. Okay. We're out of time here, but certainly so much more we could delve into. Uh, the website, once again? www.catjammies.com. All right. And you can pick this, this up. Uh, you know, like you said, there's a lot of common sense stuff in here, but certainly a lot of valuable stuff. The book, again, by Alexander Sabina, A Woman's Guide to Hiring a Contractor, uh, catjammies.com. 
Check it out. We will be back right after this on Feedback. I'm Brandy. How would you like to give hope to millions of the world's children? UNICEF, the United Nations Children's Fund, is saving lives in over 140 countries by providing kids with medicine, clean water, nutrition, and education. With your help, UNICEF can make a huge difference in our world. For more information, call 1-800-FOR-KIDS. Thank you. Welcome back to Feedback. I'm Mark Esotakis. Once again, we'd like to thank Alexandra Sabina, the author of this book, Woman's Guide to Hiring a Contractor, for joining us. You can get it at www.catjammies.com. Uh, join us tomorrow night on the show. We're going to be uh, re-airing a show we did last week with Stephen Greenberg, uh, the author from Brookville, the author of Adam's Will. Um, an excellent book. It uh, was an excellent interview with him as well. you want to tune in to see that. TV5 News with Susan Honoran and Amanda Miller is coming up next. We will see you back here tomorrow. Have a good night.